Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, Burning Dog fans. Why are you zooming in like that? <laughs> the good news is that last time, we got our hands on a legendary Blade of Osiris. A magic sword once wielded by the god himself. The bad news is that along the way, our uh, bird-headed friend Horus was sadly lost to us. My footprints seem to be a little bugged out in this area, so let's get the fuck out. You don't see too many barefoot adventurers these days. You belong to me now! Aha! Get in my wallet! Oh my god, can you imagine how much of a pain in the ass paying with living coins would be? I was trying to scurry away and climb out of your wallet or your purse or whatever. Seriously, just imagine waking up one morning to discover that uh, your life savings escaped from the bank. Well done. Oh, give me that. Maybe I can buy some more health. Where's the second one? I waited a moment to see if it was... Did it just fall straight into the lava? Well, fuck you too, tree. It's still alive down there! No wonder they made it a currency. Huh? Let's just pretend I made that jump. My incredible psychic powers tell me that the high jump is called for here. This game doesn't look too bad for having come out 16 years ago. I didn't even notice they were shooting beams. Good thing I didn't have to redirect them. Oh. Fuck me. Maybe even cry out. There is a voice when you take damage. I've heard it. I don't know who you are, but apparently I need to kill you. I don't actually know of any snake-headed gods, but then again... Not an expert in Egyptian mythology. I have heard that there is a uh, Egyptian god who is represented by an animal that no one has ever been able to identify from the historical records. I believe his name was Set. They uh, ultimately came to the conclusion that it is some animal that has either gone ex uh, since gone extinct in the region of Egypt, or an animal that never existed in the first place. Yeah, that's Horus. That's the uh, Egyptian god Horus, bird head. Up top. Though his beak is more like, you know, it was less like a bird of prey, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, these textures are very 2003. Oh, that looks much better, like from a distance. Aw, oh, piss. No damage from that. Or the fall. I know. Oh, I see. It's the 
Portal God is kind of terrifying, I'm not going to lie. Well, thanks, Master Imhotep. Here's an important question. Does saving... Does saving restore my health? Nope! Step into the ring. Mysterious amulet. Nah, I'll just stay here forever. It'll be fine. A portal amulet with strange symbols indicating transport to a mysterious location. I don't know why, but I love that they capitalized mysterious location. Like, I'm actually going to go to a place called the mysterious location. The Portal God acknowledges your offering and will provide transport to a mysterious location. I might try to use that as a thumbnail. Trick everyone into thinking it's a boss fight. T. <laughs> well, hello there. Am I just gonna, like, drop into this, uh, palace's bedroom? Is that what's gonna happen? And now I'm this guy! Who oh, seems to be afraid of his own bedroom. Which makes me wonder if he's kind of a coward. Especially since one of my default actions is crawl. Nice outfit. I can see that. I just thought you would provide some exposition while you did it. This wardrobe seems to be locked! That's a strange thing to find out in my room, but whatever! What? Oh! Oh! My bad. Must have bumped into it. I won't brush those ones. Okay, the blue one, or... The pink one. Oh, I see. Huh! Old amulet. Old amulets found in the palace of Luxor. No idea where I am, who I am, or what's going on right now. I'm not gonna lie, the fact that they completely forget to introduce the characters and everything... Like, not just the characters, the setting! I don't know where I'm actually trying to take that. It's clearly locked. Yeah, the fact that I don't know who I am is kind of ridiculous. They don't take three seconds to uh, introduce things. Uh, maybe this guy's never going to get a name. Maybe he's just the prince. You know? Oh, that one is locked, right? Yes. Okay. All right, so I should probably get some fucking clothes on. Pink? Or... blue? I 
think I might go with the pink. Not bad. Purple is a royal color. Because when it was uh, first found, purple dye was so rare that only uh, royalty could afford it. I believe that's true. I'm not intending to be uh, goofy there. Really? I have to... Courtyard key! Key to the palace courtyard. No, it isn't. It's the key to this thing. Oh, I just keep saying that when I do that. Fine, fine, you got me. It's a key to something else entirely. Where am I trying to drag that to, really? Like, okay, if I get on top of there, can I go anywhere? No. I'm glad that I it's apparently needed to knock one of those over, so, you know, that's good. He's got hops on him. No, nope, it can't leave this carpet. That's just off center for no reason. And close enough. Closer, anyway. Okay. Oh, that reminds Yeah, achievement unlocked. Fashion police. Try to stay fashionable around the palace. <laughs> Fine. A brilliant weapon. Find the blade of Osiris. I forgot to read that one last time. I find it kind of weird that all the icons are already fully colored. Usually I'm thinking they're darker or something. Well, you know, I don't think that's bad. I'm confident in my uh, masculinity. I don't feel afraid of wearing pink. What are you looking at, anyway? Okay, fine. The blue one it is. Ah! Sorry! I guess the pink one is over there. I was gonna make a joke of it no longer existing, but they thought of that. Prince Tutankhamen? Oh, didn't he die? Didn't King Tut die when he was like 13? Or something like that? That's Brother Akhenaten. Uh, okay. I recognize the name Nefertiti, but I don't know enough about Egypt to know who that was. I'm over here. I do wonder what this has to do with Sphinx, although this wouldn't be the first time a game has thrown me into a uh, subplot without warning like that. I mean, Jesus, look at what happened to uh, Yakuza Zero. Hello. Thank you! For a second I thought that was the evil witch from uh, Snow White. You got one of those amulets. Fair enough.
Other than the camera, the controls actually feel alright. I mean, they're not the smoothest thing in the world, but I will forgive that in a 16-year-old game. I mean, they could have just slapped it on Steam and left it with keyboard and mouse controls and been done with it. So the fact that it works with this controller at all is uh, a plus to me. I wonder which ceremony that is. Objects like this can be pushed and pulled. I'm gonna do it just because they told me I can. Why did that do it? There's no buttons or anything. Oh, that's probably the courtyard there. But before we go in there... My bad. Sorry about that. I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting this thing to have, uh, or one of these things to have a, an amulet under it. Oops, not that, but... Thank you! Okay, can do. Neat statues. I like that. But there's physically an animation of the key going in and unlocking it. Well, you know, apparently it wasn't my choice. Not gonna lie, this guy seems like kind of a wiener. I'm not sure why, uh... Nefertiti wants anything to do with him. Hello there. Ah. I mean, he found it on the ground, but okay. I don't know why it's so important. Oh, yeah, that would do it. Don't touch that, for the love of God. Freaking flower pots. Really? Oh, okay, it's this. It's uh, one of these, one of these shimmies, as opposed to, uh... I interpreted that wrong. I thought he was gonna, like, walk along the top. Burning dog face. Not a Rhodes Scholar. Walk like an Egyptian. Right. Camera doesn't like it when I do that. Oh, raw, give me strength. Son of a bitch. Oh no! I can't 
crawl through there. Worth a shot. Excuse me again. Dum -ba -dum, ba -bum -bum -bum. Is that a firefly or something? Okay, fair enough. Once again, I stumble into the answer. Oh, there he is. He's only going up, back, back, up. Let me guess, he goes right to Nefertiti. Aha! Now let's read it. In full, yeah, let's just read it in full view of her. Oops. And uh, call it an episode. I cannot. Disappointing! Wait, Aunt Seti. Yeah, it feels like this game skipped the first half hour, where it introduces us to the... I, I'm not going to keep harping on it. Uh, I'm just going to call it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and Prince Tutankhamen and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. And we hand this letter in to uh, Nefer Nefertiti. Collect seven more old amulets for Aunt Seti, and uh, try and figure out what the hell this has to do with Sphinx's quest to get back home. Later!